you've obviously photographed some pretty kind of substantial um, minds and artists and very imp yeah. kind of important people. Yeah. Do you feel that when you're looking through a lens, you're being allowed a kind of an insight to a side of someone that you might not, you might otherwise not no, be allowed into? No, it's very difficult. The lens hardly. Uh, people lie immediately. They see a camera. They take on their photography, their yeah. portrait face. I have a photograph of my mother, my father, and, and my family, and uh, it's all lies. I mean, they're standing next to each other, smiling. You know, they haven't had sex in 40 years. They haven't even talked to each other in 50 in years. In any way. You know, that's the. F it's lies, lies, lies. I'm quite willing to abandon the rules of of what a photograph is. You know, you, look, I'm not Ansel Adams, why should my photographs look like yeah. they're his? But everybody, th oh, Diane Arbus, great. Let's, fi let's find a lot of strange looking people and take their picture. That's description, that's observation. I want insight, and I don't find it. Do you think in terms of narrative? Yes. Like for this, we have a kind of uh, a magician who yeah. isn't very good, yeah, that, yeah. who sort of fails. Francois Faupas. Yeah, Francois Faupas. <laughs> um, is, so is, is there a narrative? And is, is there always a narrative with your work? In usually, terms there, of usu there usually is. Uh, when I look at something or read something, I thought, what is this really about? If I look at uh, somebody's photographs and I see a beautiful sunset, see, I know what that's about. I don't want photography to tell me what I already know, which is mostly the duty of photography. It shows, you know, I know what the snow looks like. I know what tits look like. You know, I know what that, show me what I don't know. I'm interested in the annotations that go alongside your photographs. Where did that kind of stem? Oh, well, I've always done. Suppose I photographed you. I knew nothing about you, but I knew something about you. But if I showed this picture to somebody, would they know you were English? Not unless you said, cool cock. <laughs> would, I know, would I know you were an actor? Not no. no, not necessarily. If I, if I didn't know what I would think, well, he's, um, I don't know, but he looks suspicious, whatever he does. It's not legal. He looks sinister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But so then I, you know, say you have a girlfriend that you really like and you take her picture, but you show it to your mom. You show her bum to your mom. Yeah. <laughs> it rhymes. And then, so you write underneath that, you know, like, <laughs> you know, well, she's, she's, she'll make a wonderful mother. She's got a decent job and she's great in bed. She gives good head in bed. That rhymes too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop it. That's the kind of thing you'd write. Yeah. Yeah. No, but if I wanted to express something, you know, I'd have to write about it. I'm not defined by the medium. Most people are defined by the medium. I think you have to redefine the medium to suit yourself. Again, I'm not Diane Arbus, so why should my photographs look like hers? But people, the menu in photography is very small. P portraiture, reportage, commercial work, you know, the categories. Well, I invented new categories, you know. But it came out of the, f all, everything is out of the frustration with the medium. It just didn't say enough. 